So what's going on everybody? It's another uh, episode of God of War. Um, I know it's been a while. I'm recording these just before I leave for my trip. So um, you'll probably get this a little while I'm gone. Uh, I'm going to try to set up something to cut these and stuff like that. Um, and you might get a couple while I'm on my trip. Um, if I do do some while I'm on my trip, there won't be any face cam. So not sure if it's going to be as enjoyable. But anyways, recap. So, we just got done doing the first side quest of God of War. And we used, and we did the one for the cleaner brother here. So, I think it's about time we go and do the other brother's quest. Let's see if I remember how to... There we go. So... Brock just asked us to find his alchemist friend Avrins at the Vector Mines. Father isn't big on helping people with no reward, but Brock did give us the interest stone of the mines. Maybe we should look into it. So we're gonna do that one next. So, what happened with the hare and the tortoise? The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Okay. Hello, my friend. <laughs> just seeing him is just awesome. I ain't gonna lie. Look at that. I wonder if the world serpent even knows part of his body's lying over here. Saw it too, little one. Very odd. Yeah! <laughs> 
Come. Oral serpent scales, sweet. Huh, neat. I have to say, I think it's interesting. Every time he gets a new lore, it vanishes off there. So, through this path lies the mines of Vondir. This great endeavor was made possible by Andavar the alchemist, son of Ivan, through whose ingenuity the very stone and bricks bedrock was turned from obstacle to mighty tool of industry. A dwarven miner's greatest fear has always been running afoul of the alchemists, but through average genius they are now no more than tools in our righteous undertaking. A new age of dwarves dawn here, no mere miners, but masters of iron, whose great craft is the future itself. Very interesting. And yes, you just saw me check, make sure my mic was not muted, because I've had that problem once or twice before. Scare up that alchemist what needed finding? What the? Can you read it? Yes, sir. Uh, these runes read death inside. said his friend was dwarven like him wearing a green ring look if you wish i will be gathering resources for our journey you don't want to help him no why not because i do not run errands for dwarves oh. Kills us. That's it. No Valhalla. No hell. No after. Ever. It does not attack. Oh. Mom made them sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come. Interesting.
Good on that one. Soul Eater got him. Must have been part of that alchemist crew. You didn't care. I noticed the lack of ring while looting the body. Oh. who killed my kin is slain, but the battle was taking its toll. I buried whatever left near his corpse. Ingrid and I used to frequent these beach to watch the sunrise over the temple. Might be the next thing I have to start walking on.
Probably one I'm sitting on. I'm just overlooking it, probably. There it is. There's the ring on that severed hand attached to the soul eater. Well, we know what happened to Inbari now. We can just go tell Brock. No need to fight, it, right? No, we will fight it. Well, why? Because you are frightened of it.
hang of this. Strong, Atreus. Stay focused and look for a weak point. Yes, sir. Stay quiet. Make no sudden movement. They look almost like ancients, but there's something off about them. Mom called them the Soul Eaters. Dangerous abominations. She never said a bad word about any living creature, even poisonous bugs. So, her saying that they always, always stuck with me. I wish I could tell her father, and I killed one. Stronger Girl. than you know. Thank you, father. Let's see if that's the alchemist ring. Fire signal of protection. A rare enchantment increases resistance to burn damage by 20%. Stacks up to 60% max. Not bad. Ooh, an Green alchemist ring. ring. Dwarvish inscription. Green ring belonged to Brock's friend. Well, where's the rest of them? Brock will probably Ash want to most give them a look. The soul leader got him. I guess we should bring this back to Brock. Probably should.
Fury of the Ice Troll, a light rune attack. A quick radiant shockwave attack that slows enemies and sends them flying back. Let's see what it looks like. See, I don't know. I still like that too much. So I want to give it up. Ooh. Especially when I can upgrade it again. And I will because it has paid off in spades. The best moves. Let's see what this says. Fully upgraded rune attack. So, <laughs> that one's up to kill. That's cool. I don't know, I'm kind of destructive tonight. <laughs> you never know, all the cool stuff you can get just by looking around. Thank you, my boy. Hey, look. Can you read it? Sir. These runes were written fast. It spells out Ejim Staney. Ejim, this message is from Adelance. What does it mean? Is it something about the ring we found on his hand? Let's ask Brock. Hmm. Sounds I don't like know that one. Cipher. Who asked the blue one? So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised. Ah, <laughs> it's cool. Come on, boy. What? How do you like me now? How's that? I see improvement. How do you like me? circle and back down we go that's kind of cool this little trees are hunting you never know what can come in handy
Bro, your brother's quest was a whole lot harder. There's like a walk in a park. You're fine. You're an alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And, well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxi. Grip of Vulture, a rare axe pummel. I'll Very take a closer perks. look at this here Activation. Maybe Chain I'm sorry to a bit of magic for inside for you grow. Getting damage from enemy attacks. Sure, on any dwarves and magic jewel. So I lose six running. So if I put it on, but I gain two strength and six defense, and I also lose six luck. But I think that's a good trade up. So I'm going to put it on. Just like flies and pig lips. Supple ones. Ooh, I'm not as interested as I thought. <laughs> what realm you gents shaking off? Let me guess. All fine? How'd you guess? I'd know that smell anywhere. Used to spend my fair share of time there, but uh, I ain't allowed to anymore on account of the uh, incident. What happened? Well, ain't too sure your daddy's gonna like me talking about it on account of all the swearing and stealing and fucking involved. What? Don't judge me. <laughs> You're the one came in all reeking of elf. Stirs up a man's memories. Go on now. I got things that ain't gonna hammer themselves. Brock. Fuck else you need. How come your brother's got half your brand? Cause I ain't in a working relationship with that foot licker no more. I wasn't about to let him use it without me, and he likewise. Only thing to do was put the brand 50-50 down the middle. I guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. What? You want a hug? Hit the road. Upgrades. Sorry. Hmm. Upgrade the strength to four. Why not? The other three. And don't be letting that spit pister of a brother of mine lay hands on it again. Like, I like. So, uh, you sticking around for grains of wisdom? Nah. So, we're gonna end it there. Um, as you can see, the brothers still don't see eye to eye, but their side quests have brought me a good bit of, uh, enhancements, so to speak. So hopefully down the line I will get some more. But that will be all for this Come episode away. of God of War. Hope y'all enjoy it, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace out, guys.